Well, the 25 was the right call. I think that was um, had to be done or they would have lost um, enormous credibility in the, this so-called fight for, uh, against inflation, which was their primary mission, as they've been talking about most, most if not all the last year. And so they had to do that, or, or I think the markets would have immediately expected further cuts. Uh, they would have been kind of abandoning their inflationary uh, goal of getting back down to 2%. So that was the right call uh, and necessary. Now, the tone of the meeting, though, was on balance pretty dovish. Um, might, maybe, um, they, have, they have one more rate cut, maybe, uh, in May. Uh, so it is, they're very much... Uh, aware of and perhaps unsettled a bit by this banking um, run that they had here a couple of weeks ago and how much fragility is in the system. Uh, they shouldn't be surprised, but that's uh, that's what they're trying to balance against. So they're going to be pretty cautious before they move again, in my opinion. So walk me through what happens next. As you say, this is a Federal Reserve caught between two significant issues for the U.S. economy now. Rate cuts have become more conceivable, but that does not appear to be the base case, at least when you look at the inflation trajectory from here. So what does the Fed do next? Well, I think it's going to watch both numbers, but they're going to be very sensitive to how much stability is brought back into the banking system. They're going to follow that carefully. Because you remember the banking industry in the United States and globally, for that matter, has had a pretty big shock uh, that has had to deal with. The shock being a 20-fold increase in interest rates in the United States over the past year, and that and those and the banking industry has absorbed that. So that's why you're seeing uh, a lot of the assets under pressure. The Fed is now uh, been made well aware of that. So they're going to th that's going to be a very important force for them. Uh, on the other hand, as you said, uh, the rock part of this is they still have inflationary problems. And if those inflationary numbers don't come down or if they stay in the six, uh, five and a half, six percent range here over the next two months, then they're going to have to think very carefully about the possibility of raising another quarter point. And that's that's really what they're going to watch. And that's really what their balancing act will be. And we'll have to just follow ourselves and see how things end up. Uh, by the time they reach May. Tom, it's Hadley out in Abu Dhabi. Uh, just a quick one for you in terms of the sort of sentiment beyond the markets. Obviously, this has a major impact on people's um, livelihoods, on their pocketbooks, and frankly, uh, inevitably, on how they vote. How do you see this playing out in the coming months, this uncertainty? Oh. Well, the uncertainty is going to only get, I think, more intense here. Uh, as they try and uh, deal with this inflation, and yet their banking industry is fragile, uh, and the, and the, I don't know that the Fed can win. I don't know where politicians will come out on this because if you let inflation rise again, and in our history we've done that in the United States, uh, that really does uh, strip purchasing power out of the consumer. On the other hand, if we have a banking crisis, uh, the consumer will suffer greatly as well because that will fall into major um, a, a downward, downward push on asset prices and then on the economy more generally, and we'll see a recession that I think takes on a, a kind of a momentum of its own. So, so they really are on walking this tightrope. Uh, they have been walking the tightrope for, for most of the half last year, but now they realize it because of this recent uh, run on a bank. So they're going to they're gonna measure, and the consumer is going to be, I think, unhappy either way. If they have a banking problem, they're going to be unhappy because it means recession. If inflation re reignites, they're going to be very unhappy, and that's going to cause uh, a backlash.